Thank you. Le 12. 12, 11, 2017. Okay. There is, there is different type of media, so we all know them, uh, websites, uh, newspapers, uh, radios and TV, uh, mainly. Okay. There is another... We can create and produce a specific video that will be distributed to the new... We have ever seen a huge surge in terms of rugby popularity across Africa. Uh, in 2017, uh, more than 22,000 schools were teaching rugby across the continent. Uh, and when you think that in a country like Madagascar, for instance, where rugby is actually the official national sport, well, I firmly believe uh, rugby deserves to be promoted across Africa. Uh, I played rugby uh, from age 8 to 18 uh, in southwest of France. Uh, and um, truly, I believe that uh, of all team sports, uh, rugby is the sport which allow children, uh, young people and adults uh, to uh, really uh, develop themselves. Uh, not to mention uh, rugby is accessible to everybody. Um, um, for instance, in 2017, uh, more than 20% of rugby players uh, in Africa are women and girls. As the leading sponsor of Rugby Africa, uh, we will devote all our efforts to bringing a new dimension to rugby in Africa. Uh, we will use our expertise uh, to reach millions of potential fans. Uh, it's definitely the beginning of a wonderful adventure for both parties. You know, uh, the rugby, uh, the, 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 it's a strange history of rugby in, in Africa because in reality the, 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 the union started in Tunisia in 1987, in October 1987. And then there was not or no organization of the rugby worldwide. And uh, the most African teams were affiliated to FIRA in Europe with the French. And you know, FIRA was uh, the union who had made secession uh, with the, the IRB at the, at the time. And the French, they have developed that uh, uh, vehicle of uh, rugby in Europe. Then all the teams were, some in Europe, some in Africa, some in Asia. And we were playing uh, games with, uh, with uh, different or European teams. And uh, then, uh, as you know, the, the rugby uh, in reality started in 2002 when uh, there was a big reform. And the reform was because of, uh, of, the, uh, because of uh, the introduction of the rugby, the, the, the willing of introducing the rugby in the Olympics. So for that, they need to have only one union, international union, and it was IRB and all the union like uh, the, the European Union, like FIRA, they had to be uh, European. And uh, then we create uh, CAR, and uh, then after Confederation Africa of Rugby, and then Rugby Africa. And at, at, at the beginning, it was only six unions starting and playing on, the, on, on a regular basis. 
and then with the development with uh, also with in conjunction with the world rugby and the, the, the world cup as a vehicle also we we we've tried to make as rugby can exist on the in africa within different unions but it was not easy in, in the beginning so now it's 38 union uh, we have different type of competition uh, we have a different type of programs also leading the rugby for the people who are managing the rugby uh, referees courses coach uh, development for the kids with the getting to rugby and different competition with four division uh, with seven competition with the women's competition and the age grade competition also so it means it's something uh, like uh, 110 competition uh, games sorry games uh, in 2017 i think since uh, the uh, with the improvement that we have done since uh, the years different years and uh, you see uh, there is a uh, 53 countries in africa from that uh, 53 union in, in africa we have now 42 union who are affiliated and 28 are playing on a regular basis and we are trying that the 10 other can come uh, on board to, to also play and organize themselves because they need to, to respect some criteria, mostly the governance. We want to go on the, sur le bon pied, how we say in English, on the right fit, you know. When you start with the governance, it's very important. You put the people to organize themselves in the right way. Uh, Uganda, in 2002, they were not playing at all, doesn't exist. Kenya, small existing. Uh, Zimbabwe, they, were, they, they had a tradition. Namibia, but uh, under South African, not uh, directly Namibian. Uh, Lesotho now, uh, Senegal, Ghana, um, uh, Burkina Faso, Niger, Algeria, and uh, I can give you a lot of examples. Uh, 2018, it, was, it will be the, for the Gold Cup, the qualification for the World Cup, 2019 in Japan, with the six union, so very important. We will have also the, the Youth Olympics qualification in Algiers in July. We will have uh, the seventh tournament, the, the pre-qualification also on the seventh for the Olympics game in, uh, in 2020 in Japan. So there is a lot of uh, event. In, in 2018. Uh, what they, they bring uh, the knowledge, uh, the expertise, and I hope that it would be uh, the story of uh, something very exciting and uh, something that can be uh, done. It's a very experienced uh, company, and I think they will bring us all the knowledge, and they will help, uh, help us to be more successful in terms of marketing, in terms of communication off the back of the line out and clinical from uh, the cranes now going wide it's lateral with his numbers on the outside and, uh, the winner will get in for Kenya's third try his second it's the number 11 again for Kenya Jacob Oji gets in for his brace in this first test match Uganda with the opportunity, the outside ball, and they're over! What a try from Uganda! Broken play, Uganda are in the lead, and the crowd have gone crazy. Good rumble for them, they just set up that drive, Zimbabwe didn't initially contest that and gave just that little bit of rumble to the Senegalese and they picked up their penalty, but they look like they've got good early momentum in this game. And it's Sadio Traore who needs to go and play scrum off, and he decides to go himself, but it's a terrific one by Traore! This time is over! Goes to Greiling, and to Christander Boeta now, and he gets the ball away to the left-hand side. And a bit of confusion there between the referee and the assistant referee. And they'll have a quick chat, and he's happy that the try has been scored. But Uganda is still on the attack. They're up to go to the big Matthias Ocho on this near side. And he gets the ball away to the map. But a space for Hilton Mudariki. Does he have the pace? He goes inside. Can he go all the way? Yes, he can. What a run from the little number nine. 
Bad defence from Namibia, and Zimbabwe bounce right back. Steal from Zimbabwe. Now an opportunity for the back line. Inside ball, but it's pace from the winger. The handoff is good. He's going to go all the way. Zimbabwe scores.